Hello everyone, welcome to Pixel Ways channel. In this tutorial, we're gonna make this little cute pencil icon. This is the final result, but in this part, we're just gonna cover the modeling. So, if you're ready to begin, let's get started. All right. You can start with pressing Shift A and make a cylinder. Keep the vertices on 8, S, Z, scale through Z axis, and go to edit mode by pressing Tab. Just remember, press 1 for vertices, 2 for edge, and 3 for polygons. So, press 3 for polygons, press A to select them all, right click and select, subdivide, and do it twice. Select the top and bottom uh, polygons and press X and only faces to delete them. Press 1 for vertices, select these 3, G, and Z to move this down then press this one and hit shift R to repeat the last command do this through all the vertices actually if you go to edit menu and there's a repeat last shift R is the short key which means it will repeat your last command so just do this um, through all the vertices to make an even uh, movement. All right. Go back through object mode by pressing tab. Go to modifier and add solidify. Increase the thickness, and we have to uh, put this outside of the uh, our cylinder. So reverse the offset, then make a con by pressing Shift A, and select con, rotate this all the way down. Also move it down. Go to edit mode and delete the upper polygon. I'm pressing X and all the faces. Go back to object mode. Move this up. What we're doing here is um, we need to delete this from the con. So to do that, select the con, go to modifier and select boolean. Pick um, the eyedropper and select this uh, cylinder. Put it on difference and hit apply. We don't need this cylinder anymore and delete this. So if you select this con and go to edit mode and press one for vertices, um, most of the time you you can see uh, there's some overlapping vertices and, and as you can see here there's two vertices next to each other probably you, you can have this here no or maybe this one to solve this problem press a to select them all and press m to merge and select by distance you can see we remove 11 vertices and now we just solve the problem. All right. Now we have to extrude this loop, edge loop here. To do so, press 2 for edge, hold Alt and click on one vertex edge. So we have an edge loop here. Press E to extrude and Z through Z axis. To flatten this edge loop, press S for scale, Z through Z axis, 
and 0 to flattening it. And hit enter. Then another extrusion by pressing E and Z through the axis. Then go down, press 1, select this one, hit Ctrl Shift B to flatten this by scrolling down the mouse button. Okay, press Tab to go back to object mode. Press Shift A and make an anarcho sphere. Put it down and decrease the scale. Go to edit mode by pressing tab. Press 1 for vertices. Go to wireframe by pressing Z and select wireframe. Select these vertices, X and vertices to delete them all. Press 2, hold Alt, click on one edge to make a loop. Extrude by E through Z axis and a scale. Adjust the position and a scale. To keep the proportion precise. like so also we need an extrusion inside our model and a bubble here to do that you can go back to solid by pressing z and select solid uh, we can isolate this model by pressing shift h select this edge loop press e then escape then S for a scale and make it inside the model. Select this edge loop, Control B for bubble and make it a small to make it sharp. All right. Then go back to object mode and in the modifier, select subdivision surface, hit two level right click on the model and press shade smooth to bring back rest of the model press alt h also we need to um, extrude this inside our model to do so press e to go to edit mode press 2 for the edge hold alt click on one edge to make a loop it's control B for bevel. Select this middle one, press S for scale, and I scale it down inside the model. Also, to keep this sharp, we need to bevel this one and this edge loops. To do so, press Alt and click on this and hold Shift while you also holding alt and click on another edge to make these two edge loop Control b for bevel and keep it as small to make the smoothness sharp on these edges and if you select this and go to modifier and add subdivision surface you can have this sharp um, beveling and extrusion this one has a problem um, to, to solve that we can go to edit mode and turning off this subdivision surface and delete this face which solved the problem but also we have an extrusion inside the model to do so, we can hit Shift Edge to isolate that. Go to Edit Mode, press 2, Hold Alt, select one edge to make a loop. Press E, then Escape, then S for a scale, and make a scale inside the model. 
select this, this loop, control B for leveling and make it small to keep it sharp. Go back and to level of subdivision surface, right click on the model and press shade smooth. All right. Press Alt and H to bring back rest of the model. Just a scale and the position. All right. You can add another cylinder by place pressing Shift R A. Cylinder. Put it up. Scale it up to. By pressing S. Adjust the proportion. Also, we need to make some extrusion through here and here. So we need more edge loops. To doing that, we can select this and press E to go to edit mode. And then press Ctrl R to make a edge loop. By scrolling the mouse button, we can increase the numbers of the loops. So like these two loops, scale it through the axis. Also these two. All right. We need to select these two loops. Press three for polygons. Hold Alt. Click in the edge of the polygons to make a loop. Also hold Shift and Alt and press here to select them both. Right click, extrude faces along normal and extrude this inside the model like so. We don't need this one and the bottom one. Select them, press X only faces let's isolate this by pressing shift and edge go to edit mode press 2 for edge hold alt select edge loop press e for extrusion escape s for scale and scale it inside the model also e and z to extrude through the model. Same thing on the other side. E, escape, S for scale inside the model. Again, E and extrude inside. Now we have to bevel these edges. So select them all. Here also we have to make the bubble small to keep it sharp. Also we have to select this edges too. But this time we can make it softer. So to do so we can decrease, increase the size of our bubble. Like so. So if I apply the subdivision surface to level, right click and shade smooth. You can see here we have sharp edge and this one is more soft edges. But we have some problem here. The problem is, this is not a straight line and um, you can see there is some curve here. To solve the problem, we need to add some edges here to keep the sharpness of the model. So let's add them by pressing Ctrl R scroll and a scale through the axis 
also here. All right, so let's bring back rest of our models by pressing Alt and H. We need to scale this top one. All right, and we have to add the eraser on the top by pressing Shift A and make another cylinder. Put it up, scale it down, go to isolation, press E, 3, and delete this. Also, make it smaller, and another bevel here, also an edge loop to keep it sharp adding subdivision surface to level and shade it smooth let's go back scale this up and put it down and adjust the proportion all right that's it we just done the modeling in the next part uh, we cover the unwrapping the model and creating material i hope you enjoyed this part and i will see you in the next session